they had grace. Romance. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. And style. I have elastic stockings on with garden. But best of all, they made us laugh. You just don't understand. PBS presents the pioneers of television. I'm wearing a live raccoon. An unforgettable celebration of TV's funniest talent. Obey all rules. Don't miss the pioneers of television. January 2nd at 8, 7 central, only on PBS. His wife put his collection of television shows on the curb. I actually went to the house and got them before the garbage person took them out of the garbage oh took them away. Lord. And we used that in our first program. So the fascinating thing about her is that when you interview people who work with her, they all tell a very interesting story. She is very much a analyst. She would practice and practice and practice, you know, hours. Is my hand funnier if I put it here, if I put it here, you know, over and over and over again. Just a complete opposite of like Jackie Gleason, who would just want to do it live and wing it and never memorize anything and would forget his lines and didn't care. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In the forest, we don't care. <laughs> I would be rolling a character. A lot of times it would take me a little while to roll. If I were doing Maud Frickert, you know, uh, well, I just uh, give me a chance to get into the character. When we went to Jonathan Winter's house, we were already warned that when you go to the door and ring the doorbell, be careful because the person that's going to come out, you're not going to know who, he's, who he is. And right away, you open the door, our crew is there, and he's already off in a character world. And we're kind of going in, and he did 25 minutes even before we were in the doorway. And, uh, but he was outstanding. I think the interview was, uh, I don't know, three, three and a half hours with him. <laughs> And finally, the son had to come and say, okay, Dad, you know. <laughs> and worked about three months to get Bob Barker to agree to an interview. He's, he's a hard interview to get. The day we were there, the day PBS was there, was the day he announced his retirement. And he decided that morning, today is the day. We were afraid because every media outlet came, you know, Entertainment Tonight and mm -hmm. Access Hollywood, and they're all there with it. We're not going to get any time with them, but he gave them all two or three minutes, and then he gave us an hour. Let's make a deal. Gonna yeah, what a great show. What a legend. And, and one of the things he said in the program, and I think one of the game show hosts also said, you know, hosting a show like that is like driving down a hill backwards in your car <laughs> and trying to be witty as you're doing it. Yeah. Especially with that show because he would walk out there and do a half an hour with nothing. Yeah. He didn't have a script. He didn't have cards. He didn't have questions. He just did it. And he had to bring people to that exact moment of indecision. And that's what the show was all about. You've got to tell your Sid Caesar story. And we had promised that Sid Caesar was going to be there and show the clip with us. And PBS said, great, we'd love to see the series. We think it's an outstanding idea. And by the way, Sid is going to be there with us, and that's outstanding. Well, we hung up the phone with PBS and called up Sid. Sid, you have to be there. You have to help us. And I'm not going all the way to Washington, D.C. Forget about this. And uh, so we went to PBS. We went to Washington, D.C., and we didn't have Sid there. But Sid was on the speaker phone on the table and they walked in they said where's Sid I'm in here <laughs> please give Steve and Mike your full consideration we love this show thank you very much click no it's the end of it <laughs>